Tom here from Lauren Systems and TrueNAS released version 12.0 U8 on February 2nd, 2022. And according to IX Systems, it is recommended for even the most conservative of users. So for all of these that have been holding out, you know, on your old 11 series, it's probably time that you update and especially because of the security fixes that are available in this 12.0 U8 release. Now, today is February 5th, 2022. So far, all the systems I've updated had no issues at all. This update does not bring any major changes to TrueNAS Core, but does have lots of bug fixes, security fixes especially, and a few driver updates. One major security fix is going to be the Samba update to address CVE 2021-44142. That is a really big problem that needs to be fixed in Samba. And I really recommend, because this affects all the versions prior to 12.0 U8, I really recommend you load this and get this fixed. This is a pretty bad bug. I will admit, though, it is not a default configuration. So this bug won't necessarily be trivial, trivial to exploit by just anyone. It's going to be certain configurations that will go over that kind of create a convergence of problems to allow this bug to happen, but it's definitely a really bad bug. Before we dive into these details, if you'd like to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire share projects, such as storage consulting, there's a hires button right at the top. If you want to support this channel in other ways, there's affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on this channel. Now, here's the update release right from TrueNAS, their blog post about it. We'll get into the update details in a moment, but this does coincide with probably being the last release of TrueNAS Core. And also the announcement is in here for those of you asking, what about TrueNAS Scale? Yes, TrueNAS Scale is on its way. It has a release date that was announced in here as well. Now they cover just kind of a history of some of those updates. And yes, there's always bugs when it came into the first release. And it's hard to believe TrueNAS Core came out the 12 version in October of 2020. And uh, its final version of 12 is gonna be 12.0 U8. Not a discontinuation of TrueNAS Core, it's just going to version 13 after this. And coinciding, there's going to be the TrueNAS scale releases, which I'll be talking about soon because, well, it's coming to full release. And that's going to be right here on 2.22-22. But if you are using Samba at all, I do recommend the update because let's talk about the Samba bug before we get to the other details. And right here is a security announcement and everything will be linked down below so you can do further reading on these. But right here is... All versions prior to TrueNAS Core 12.0 U8 and Scale 22.02, where Core, and this is the non-default conditions, but this is the conditions that are required in order to have this exploit be viable. Systems that are sharing the same path via SMB and AFP, systems that have selected multi-protocol AFP SMB preset for a share, and systems that have populated auxiliary parameters for SMB share set to fruit colon metadata equals net a talk or fruit equal colon resource equals file so if these are conditions you have met on your core system you have to update immediately or you could face a real problem if someone was inside your network and had access to samba now normally and i see normally because i'm sure somebody's doing it unfortunately samba should never be exposed to the internet so this is not like a remote type of thing it's local to your network the threat actor who's trying to perform this particular exploit is going to have to be local to your network in order to do this now it affects scale systems and these are the conditions for the system at scale and i'm not going to cover every little detail in it scale still in beta but if you're using it update that as well there's fixes for both platforms here now on to the full release notes. I'm not going to read through all of these here. There's a Samba CVE notice we covered, a few free BSD security patches, a few improvements. OpenZFS is now at 2.07. This one I haven't really played with much, but it's the TLS server URI into S3 configuration form. They're adding a couple more features with the way S3 works on here, and it's min IO in the background. I'm probably going to do an updated video because a lot has changed since the last time I did TrueNAS and S3 video, and uh, I like that they've, they've been keeping up with the updates for that. So that'll come out as a separate tutorial uh, coming in the near future for the way they've re-implemented MinIO. By the way, for those of you who have asked before, yes, MinIO is going to be a slightly older version inside of TrueNAS versus if you load it within a jail. And this is one of the reasons it's available as a jail on here uh, for the extended features you may want for MinIO. Now, they did include the new Intel drivers uh, for the i225 Intel NICs, and then just a long list of lots of little bug fixes here and there. And 
maybe you were affected by these. So go ahead and read through this and see if there's something that really was holding you back. But honestly, I think you really have to update to this because of the Samba issue. You really need to get that loaded and get your system patched so you're not vulnerable to that issue, especially if you're using one of those conditions met that would allow that to be exploited. So my final thoughts with this release are it's time to get off the old unsupported versions of FreeNAS. It is time to move on to the version 12.0 U8, and then you can sit on that for a while before you start testing with 13 when that comes out. And yes, there'll be more videos on TrueNAS scale, especially with it coming out so soon here on 2.22.22. You know, great timing that they picked that as a release date. So there will be some more videos coming on the channel for that. In the meantime, head over to the forums where you can find me or say hi to me on Twitter and wherever social platform I'm on when you're watching this sometime in the future. All right, thanks. And thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. If you'd like to hire a sure project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thanks again for watching and look forward to hearing from you.